Alright guys, Scarecrow here. Uh, I know I've been gone for a while, but I uh, decided I would uh, put up a new review video. So today for you, I have something that uh, I'm really, really pleased with. This is a review of my Blind Horse Knives Frontier Valley. As you can see here, uh, I have the Frontier Valley in the neck sheath that is offered. Uh, there's also two other sheaths that I know of. There is the Dangler sheath, which I believe I've showed you with my PLSK2 and then there is also a belt sheath. So, as you can see here, we'll just talk about the sheath real quick. Uh, really nice um, job putting the sheath together here. You can see really nice stitching, strong rivets, just good quality leather. And like I said, since it's a neck sheath, you can see the uh, leather strap here uh, to put around your neck. So, we'll get to the knife. Uh, this here is a custom order uh, from Blind Horse Knives. Typically the Frontier Valley comes in natural, black, and a green canvas micarta. Um, my Frontier Valley has black G10 scales and blaze orange liners. You can see here, go over the knife, has a full flat grind on uh, a one tool steel. You can see the Blind Horse Knives logo there. Like I said, G10 handles. Brass pins. Whoops, a little closer. Just a slick, slick looking little knife. You can see the jimping on the back. Um, so I think that's a slick looking little knife there. Uh, we'll actually talk about the uh, specs of the knife. Uh, the overall length of the knife itself is going to be six and a half inches. The blade length is two and seven eighths with a uh, two and a half inch cutting edge. And then the blade width is going to be uh, 15 sixteenths. And then the 16, uh, I'm sorry, the thickness is going to be one eighth of an inch. Like I said, that's on 01 tool steel. And like I said, it's a flat grind. You can see here, uh, the handle fits really well in the hand. They have a Frontier First, which is slightly shorter. But the uh, Frontier Valley is just a nice size knife for uh, EDC. Now this is what I've been carrying since I got it. Before I was carrying a uh, ESE uh, Azula, which I still love, but I've pretty much become obsessed with the quality of knives that BHK puts out. They're just so nice. Uh, like I said, I have the uh, PLSK2, as you can see here. I said I need to do a review on that. But I mean, that thing's a beast. You've seen it in the video. Um, my initial impression video. But like I said, I EDC this. Um, use it all the time for uh, like whenever I prepare my lunch and stuff, cut up apples, celery, carrots, stuff like that. Um, razor sharp. Um, whenever I've gotten both my blind horse knives, they've come out really sharp. I'll we'll see how good I can do a cut test with this. So, you can see there, really sharp. Um, but I'm not sure if uh, you guys are too familiar with Blind Horse Knives, but uh, they're really, really great products that they put out. Um, like I said, big fan. Uh, and they're fairly local for me. I live in PA. They're right over in Ohio. Um, on their site, they have all different kinds of knives. I mean, bushcrafters, survivals. Like I said, little EDC knives like this. Um, I think you guys should probably check them out if you haven't already done that. Uh, they actually have an underground club, which uh, they offer unique specials to. And then everybody gets offered um, their special of the month. They do one, like I said, every month. Uh, and it's usually at a discounted rate. And then uh, usually later it'll end up showing up on their site. But the one month they did uh, 
like a camp fork, which was pretty cool. Um, you could actually get that as a matching set with uh, another knife. And then they've done uh, a machete, which was pretty awesome. I was really tempted to order that. They have that up on their site as well. Uh, so just all different kinds of stuff. So they keep it fresh and interesting. I uh, friended them on Facebook. They always have uh, good posts. Um, all my correspondence has been with LT uh, at Blind Horse Knives, and he's awesome. I mean, he's always quick to answer my emails. Um, he always is just really, really friendly. Um, and if you don't see anything on their site that you like, uh, they'll do customs. Um, I've talked to him before, and he's basically said, you know, send me a sketch, overall dimensions you think you want it to be, and, you know, I'll put together a uh, an idea of a price for you. So, I mean, if you guys haven't checked out Blind Horse Knives, uh, go check them out. And uh, like I said, that's the review of my Frontier Valley. Super impressed. So I hope you guys liked it. That's it.